Hello, what's up? Ali here. Sharing this amazing application you wouldn't want to miss on your jailbroken PS4. First, let us go ahead and download and install this application. Then later, I'll show you how we can take advantage of this amazing application. The application is the Items Flow Game Manager. You will find the link on our description. Just open the link and scroll down and click on download for PS4. Now we'll just have to transfer this on our external hard drive or USB and install. You can also find this application in the homebrew store, but it is highly advisable to have a separate FPKG to install this amazing application. Now once you have the application ready, just go to the gold hand menu, package installer, then install. Now let us go ahead and show you how to take advantage of uh, this application. To start, this application will allow you to customize your games. This is somewhat similar to Multiman if you are familiar with a PS3 jailbreak. If you want to load the game, just highlight the game, then press X, then launch. You can also dump your game on your external hard drive. This will allow you to transfer and play your games using external hard drive. But one of the best features this application has that you shouldn't want to miss is this will restore your missing games in case you have rebuilt your database. Because there are some instances where the PS4 sometimes automatically rebuilt its database when it counters some critical errors. Then all of a sudden, when you boot up your PS4, you can no longer see your games but they still occupy space on your PS4. To show you, let us go ahead and rebuild our PS4 database. You will notice here that I can no longer find any games on my PS4 even if I go to the library. And if we check on the storage, there are still some applications that are occupying my PS4 even though it's not showing anything. Now when this happens, first let us go ahead and reinstall our items flow manager. After activating our jailbreak, let us go ahead and install. This is the reason why it is highly advisable to have a separate FPKG on your items flow manager so that you can install it anytime, every time you need it. Now let's go to the application. Now here on the main menu of the application, press option on your controller. Then choose Rebuild FPKG Database. You can choose Internal or Extended Storage. Since all of our games are just installed on our internal hard drive, let us go ahead and choose Rebuild Internal Database. Now after rebuilding the database, you will notice that you will find your games here inside the Items Flow Manager, but not in your PS4 main menu. If that happens, you can just simply go to the library and you can find your games here. Or you can just simply create a folder and add the games individually. Or you can simply restart your PS4 and they will be back where they used to be. And if there are still some games or applications that are still missing, you can always find them in your library. Because you may have a limited the numbers of applications showing on your PS4 main menu. So this will be it for now. If you have any questions or suggestions, you can always share them on our comment section and I will definitely address them. And again, my name is Ali. If you find this video helpful, please go ahead and like and subscribe. And I will definitely see you in our next video. Bye-bye.